Gonna ride, gonna ride, gonna roam the whole countryside, gonna bring a song, just a prairie song, I'm gonna ride, gonna ride, set along, set along, been a set in here far too long, gonna set my tail on my open trail, I'm gonna ride, gonna ride. Gang raided the bank. Get your horse. I'm asking for a man to ride with the posse. I'm with you, sir. Get your horse. Killing for the Skull Mesa gang. The Skull Mesa gang ought to be wiped out. Yeah. How are we going to do it? We all know they hide out somewhere in the Skull Mesa range. Posse would be massacred hunting for a hideout in that rough country. But, Doc, it's got to be done. If the law can't protect me, I'll have to close the express office. Then why doesn't the ranger, Fred Jameson, do it? He's paid to fight for the law. That's yeah, too big a job to expect from any one man. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's what he thinks. Never seems to be around when there's any excitement. There they are. I got a relay, the fresh horse. That white horse looks mighty familiar. It does a fast.
Howdy. Howdy. Was he waiting for a streetcar? Not exactly. Somebody stole my horse last night. Well, I'll be dead dumb. Stealing from a ranger is what I call downright impudence. <laughs> well, they won't get very far. Folks around here knows my horse about as well as they know me. Uh, Miner, you ever do any prospecting around the Skull Mesa Range? Yep. I got a right smart looking claim back in there. Say, you ever hear of a outlaw hideout up there? Mister, I ain't lost no outlaws, and I've grown as old as I am by minding my own business. Where'd you leave that ranger's horse? Alongside the road, where he's sure to find him. What a surprise he's gonna get when he rides into town, that horse. Yeah. You better get out of those clothes before one of the boys takes a shot at you by mistake. If you're tired of packing that saddle, why, throw it on romance here. I guess I'll have to take you up on that, old timer. Gosh, my boots are sure full of feet. But if anybody sees me riding a burro, I just bury me where I fall. Oh, Romance will pack you all right. She's mighty sturdy. Uh, what'd you say you call that little old burro? Romance. I call her Romance because she's a lover of sentimental songs. And son, if you'll just sing to her kind of soft and low, she'll pack you all day long. All right, just take that old getter there and get started, boy, and I'll show you how to get a nice free ride. All right, what is do her?
to meet me. That's what I call real affection. Face looks familiar, but doesn't seem to belong to the rest of the outfit. Well, you remember me. Why, well, you had plans to sort of marry me someday. Oh, yes, I remember. Oh, but it's all off now. You're not a very good horse trainer, Fred Jamison. Oh, romance ain't much for style, but she's, she's mighty, mighty sturdy. sturdy. Huh? <laughs> Yes, I imagine romance has her good points, but, uh... <laughs> but, uh, I get it. You don't want to be seen riding alongside such a handsome burrow. What big ears you have, Grandma. For the love of Mike, Jean, ride into town and get me a horse, will you? Well, maybe I will, and maybe I won't. <laughs> maybe you should have won. No maybe about it. I'll never hear the end of this. Captain Rollins, I believe that someone in town is in cahoots with that Skull Mesa gang. Why do you think that? They always know just when and where to make a raid. They never miss. Yes, I'm afraid I agree with you. Hello, Dad. May I borrow a horse? Oh, hello, Jean. I want you to meet Captain Rollins with the Rangers. Captain Rollins, this is my daughter, Jean. How do you do, Captain? How do you do? It seems as if I already know you. I've heard Fred speak of you so many times. Oh, yes, Fred Jamison, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, he's done some fine work. So recently, I thought he was one of my best men. So recently? What do you mean? Well, I can't say that he's done much about that Skull Mesa gang, and it doesn't look like to me he wanted to do anything about it. But, but that's not true. Gene, Captain Rollins wouldn't say that unless he had reason to believe it was true. You were my friend. I'm sorry, but I did intend to bring you a horse. <laughs> well, it's all right. It's a funny thing, though. Somebody steals my horse and then leaves him right where I'm bound to find him. That is all. Oh, oh. Captain Rollins, surprised to see you in our neck of the woods. Yeah, I kind of thought you would be. What do you mean? Someone in town is in with the Skull Mesa gang. Who is it? I'm just as anxious to know as you are. Hello, Sheriff. Howdy, Captain. Any luck? We lost them. They had a man waiting with the real air flight off. Sheriff, look. I swear the man with the real air rode that horse. I wasn't close enough to see the man's face, but the general getup looked mighty like Jameson. How do you explain that one? Why, strange as it may seem, Captain Rollins, somebody stole my horse last night. And you're riding him now? Well, I, uh, I found him on the way into town. Somebody rode him hard and then turned him loose. What do you think I am, a fool? What do you mean, Captain Rowan? You're in with that gang and trying to lie out of it. Uh, well, cool you off in the caliboo. Never mind, Sheriff. I'll attend to this. You report to headquarters immediately. I'll report nowhere. I'm through. If you have any proof that I'm in with a gang of outlaws, it's your duty to arrest me. If you haven't any proof, keep your mouth shut. Fred, don't act like this. I'll tell them I saw you without your horse. Why, well, they'd say you were lying on my account. No, they wouldn't. I can make them believe you. I don't care what they believe, Jean. Oh, don't be a stubborn... A stubborn mule? <laughs> well, stubborn mule or not, I'm not going to take that from anybody. he burned up, I guess they hit pretty close to the truth. Jim Davis, you've no right to say anything like that. I have a right to my own opinion, Jean. And I know I'm right. I know you're wrong. Hi, Captain. Hello, Pete. How'd you find things over the other side of the county? That's the good. What's the matter? 
Had some bad news? Fred Jamison is thrown in with the outlaws. What? <laughs> oh, look, Captain. If you're trying to kid me, don't spring something that's impossible for me to believe. If your jaw felt like mine does, you'd believe it. And he handed in his badge. That doesn't make sense. A long time now, Fred Jameson has been my idea of everything that a, a ranger should be. You can't just suddenly think of him as a low-down pack rat. No, none of us like to think of him as a pack rat, but it's true. about that ranger's horse. Perfect. They threw him out so fast, he's still bouncing. That was a pretty neat trick. You know, lawmen don't bother me much, but I don't want that Jameson guy on my trail. He's dynamite. Where's my cut? and you'll always cash in. Now, the express company has a heavy payroll shipment in a few days. I'll let you know. Hold it, boys. Drop that payroll off and keep your eyes straight ahead. Someone beat us to the payroll. And there he goes. Yourself? No. You better stop drinking that cactus liquor. All right, get that stuff cleaned up. around here for, huh? Oh, Chief, you like buying baskets? No, I don't want to buy any baskets. No? Maybe Big Chief like buy... No, 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 I don't want any buying baskets, I told you. No? No. Maybe you like No, I don't baskets. want any baskets. Now, get out. Wait a minute, Chief, don't hmm? be that. again, huh? Captain, you're a very difficult man to sell a basket to. I guess you know that. You sure fooled me, Fred. And I think we fooled the skull mates again. You know they thought there was a payroll in that empty box we stole? Oh, the fact that they were around proves that. Yeah, and somebody in town thought there was money in it and tipped them off. 
I'd like to meet up with that fella if he had anything to do with stealing my horse. Made our setup look on the level, but it was sure tough on my feet. Well, you picked a mighty tough job. Yeah, most of them are. <laughs> That's a very funny costume. Well, this is no beauty contest I'm entered in, you know. That's <laughs> true. Oh, and say, by the way, there's a little matter of a punch in the jaw I want to take up with you. Yeah, did you like it? I wish you'd learn to pull your punches. Well, you know what you said, what? to make it look real. Well, you're fine to say to make it look like a massacre. Captain, that was just once over likely. <laughs> Hello, Pete. What's on your mind? Captain, I'd like to ask for a short leave of absence. Uh, a leave of absence? Why, uh, Oh, yes. Yes, yes um, surely. I mean, you've been working pretty hard. You deserve a leave of absence. I'm much obliged. Well, that's quite all right, and, uh, and don't do anything foolish. Oh, I'll try to keep out of trouble. <laughs> Good night. Good night. things I don't like about this job, having Pete think I'm on the wrong side of the law. I know how you feel, Fred, but it's the only way to play it, believe me. We don't know who's friendly to this gang, and a careless word might cost you your life. Well, maybe you're right. We'll let it go the way it is. And by the way, if I have to send you a message, uh, me send them Indian basket. I don't want it. Yeah, but you're going to want this one. And listen, when you get it, it'll mean come a running. Come on, honey. off your home range, haven't you? Fred, I've been hearing some talk that don't sound so good. I'd like to know what it's all about. I ain't talking anymore, Pete. I'm playing the game as I see it. On which side of the law? Now, that's my business. Come on, let's have a drink. Wait a minute, Fred. You and me have been buddies for a long while. Don't you think I'm entitled to hear your side of the story? Pete, you either trust me or you don't. Now, let's forget about it. Forget it? Until I know that you're not crossing up the rangers, I'm going my way. Now, wait a minute, Pete. You're a hothead. Don't try to carry the world on your shoulders. You saved my life once, Fred, and I don't admire to be in your debt, but I am. So we'll let it go at that. But remember, I'm a ranger. If ever it's my duty to go out after you, I'll bring you in. Fair enough. Jameson, you're under arrest. What for? For that payroll holdout. Rifle and guard both recognize your boy. So hand over your gun. One at a time. And but first. Oh, I'm sorry. Why did you do that? Why didn't you shoot? I owed him a debt. You're square now. You're a ranger, ain't you? Well, he's wanted for robbery. I know he is. I'm going after him.
Sheriff, it looks like we've lost him. Yep, we might as well turn back. Turn back? Are you afraid to go on? No, I just use common sense. A dead sheriff ain't no good to nobody. You'd need an army to hunt outlaws in there. We'd be shot full of holes before we ever found our hideout. Not it. Just the same, I think I'll go along in there and see what happens. Well, you do as you like. But this ain't no healthy country for a lawman. All right, boys. Back to town. I'll be seeing you. Tried to 
bullet, but he's got somebody's bullet. Now Cactus Pete is six feet underground. Now Cactus Pete is lying in the box. His grave is covered up with stones and rocks. For he wasn't on the level. Now he's playing with the devil. Old Cactus Pete is six feet underground. Keep them right where they are. You had me worried, partner. I thought it was the sheriff. The sheriff's got more sense than to come up here. Yeah, well, I'm glad to know it. Say, you had your nerve, too, after cheek me out of payroll. Looks like maverick money to me. I didn't see your brand on any of it. No, but I was aiming to get it. Now, yeah, how was I to know that? I don't reckon you would. Have you got it with you? <laughs> Knowing that you hang out up here? I'm not as crazy as that. Pretty smart, huh? I'm getting smart. You armories have got the right idea. What did I get for being a ranger? They slapped an outlaw brand on me, and now they're going to get what they asked for. And you're getting off to a pretty good start. Yes, too. and it's only a start. Listen, I got my eye on a jackpot that's worth going after. Say, hey, maybe you and I can work pretty good together. Maybe we can. How about taking a ride up to camp and talking it over? Right. Be with you in a minute. Oh, why waste time on him, Red? He can't do no harm around here. Furthermore, I'm holding on to him to find out where he hid that money. This country's being overrun with desert rats. Come on, you. Pack up and get out of here. Well, I mind my own business and don't bother you none. Don't give me no arguments. Get out of here. Now, wait a minute, partner. Don't bother him. Why, he's harmless. So long, old-timer. Thanks for the grub. So long. Come back again sometime. But leave your friends at home. Well, the last thing I see of this fellow is riding down the road. He could have played checkers on his coattail. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. But what about this jackpot you've got your eye on? Yeah. If I cut you in on that, I'm going to be the boss about the way the deal is handled. That's fair enough. You think different? Whatever you say. All right, you're the boss. You know, when I was a ranger, I learned a lot of things that are going to come in handy now. I'll bet you did. But what about this jackpot? The express company's got a lot of gold on hand. They're afraid to ship till they get you fellas under lock and key. And I know where it is. Well, where is it? That's something I'll tell you when we go after it. Hey, Red. Well, look what a couple of boys found snooping around outside. All right. It looks as if you win. But I'd rather be in my boots than yours, even as we stand right now. Well, then I guess we're both satisfied. You've got no love for rangers. Finish them off. Oh, why waste the lead? He can't do anything. We got no use for prisoners up here. We bury them. And this is no place for a man who's chicken-hearted. I got no love for a ranger. But I never got used to shooting a man. Now, get on the pan. That was no accident. Why did you try to help that ranger? Because I wanted to give him a break. My bargain with you didn't include killing a pal. What are you going to do with him? I don't know yet. But to make sure you don't mess up that express thief, I'm going to hold on to him for a while. He might come in handy. Tie him up.
Going someplace, Fred? Oh, I thought I'd ride into town, look the ground over. Good idea. Have a couple of boys ride with you in case you need some help. I don't need any help, Fred. Well, take them along anyway. They might come in handy. I get it. All right, let them go along for the ride. Good. And don't forget, you've still got your friend Pete here with us. I'm way ahead of you. I didn't want to tell you this before the wrestler gang, but the sheriff tells me there's a ranger up here. What about it? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Wow. A wolf in sheepskin. Or maybe I ought to say a sheep in wolf skin. What's he doing here? Well, he's figuring on joining up with us. Join the outfit? You're crazy. Listen, Davis, Red and me are right friendly, see? We got a deal. You don't want me in the outfit, why, well, I suppose you try putting me out. We don't need him. Why take a chance? Hey, if you've got an argument with him, you settle it. Oh, maybe he'd rather have somebody else do it fighting for him. Mr. Davis, I was just once over like it. Fighting Wildcat. You know, we're going to go places together. We sure will, Red. He thought I gave you a working over. Where's he heading for? The town. He claimed he's got a rich hole staked out for us. I think he's lying. Maybe so, and maybe not. That's why I sent the boys with him. He's got that money hidden someplace, and I'm not letting him get out of the country with it. I don't like him hanging around town. He can do me a lot of damage now. Seems he did already without going to town. You boys take good care of me. You know, if the sheriff spots me, the town will be full of gun smoke in no time. <laughs> to be alone so he can express himself. I'm sorry, old timer, but I have to stay here till Father gets back. Why don't you let me help you? No, thank you, no, thank you. I'll wrap a G-string of doing it. Hmm. You like buying basket? No, you pesky redskin. I'm busy and I don't like to buy them basket. Hmm. Did you want something? Me want. You send basket. This man, he know. 
he tell me he wants basket. All right, I'll make out a tag for you. You send them pretty quick, hmm? It'll go on today's coach. He'll get it this evening. You're welcome. Inside, disguised as an Indian. Bottom brother, maybe him by. I just saw Fred Jameson. He was disguised as an Indian. What is he? Over in the express office. just like shooting fish. I will ride out and give Red the good news. Huh? Hell, you Indian! Oh, just a little too good to last. All right, boys, hit leather. What's that Indian doing here? He wanted to send a basket by express. What's he doing? Going into the mail order business? I wouldn't be surprised. Is this the basket? Yes, that's it. Hello, you seem to be pretty interested in the express business. Well, maybe not altogether in the express business. <laughs> well, Gene, you can run along now. I'll get things ready for the stage. I'll go along with you if you don't mind. All right. Got your package ready? Yeah, take the dead gum thing. It might hold together, then again it might not, I don't know. Hey, wait a minute, that basket ought to go on a stage two. Ooh, it's got no tag on it. Well, I seen your daughter tie one on there a while ago. Somebody must have took it off. Oh, well, I guess an Indian basket is no life or death matter. I don't know, it might be right important. Yeah, that funny outfit. So the sheriff wouldn't recognize him. <laughs> but it didn't do any good. He spotted me anyway. Yeah. What about the gold? It's all set. We get it tomorrow. Tomorrow, huh? Now the boys will go on ahead. Part of them will plant themselves in this building across the street from the express office. The rest of them ride through town shooting up. So the sheriff will gather a posse and start out after. Them. Right? That looks all right. 
All right, you know what to do. Get going. Where's Rand? He's over to Shack. He ought to be along most any time. Better wait here till I see him. Okay. Now Texas Pete is lying in the bar. His grave is covered up with stones and rocks. You know, this is one of the softest touches you ever made, Red. Hombre tried to send a message to the ranger. All right, get his guns, Red. I thought it was too good to be true. Pretty clever, Mr. Davis. Well, a condemned man will just take a drink to your health. Not come any further. It's too dangerous. All right, boys, come on.
Got enough? Yeah, I got enough. Captain, I want you to meet a friend of mine here. He's given me a, a very interesting half hour. <laughs> well, it looks as though you tamed him down pretty well, Fred. All right, throw him in with the rest of the herd, Fuzzy. Well, well, Captain Rawls, this isn't just the way I planned this thing, but I'm certainly glad to see you, fellas. I'm glad to see you, too, Fred. I, I didn't know what happened to you. And say, old timer, uh, you sort of forgot to mind your own business, didn't you? No. I just had to get rid of them outlaws so as I could work my mind. Say, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, Captain, beat the prisoner inside. All right, I'll get it. But... Right in there, Captain. They got him tied up. So this is where you spent that interesting half hour. It's like a cyclone hits the place. Uh, Gene, I got a little something I want to talk to you about. Fred Jameson, you're going to worry me into an early grade. Well, it was all Captain Rollins' idea. Captain Rollins? Oh, that's what the basket was all about. Yeah, you see, uh, Captain, we were just talking about you. I was telling Jean here uh, about your interesting hobby of, of, uh, of collecting Indian bags. <laughs> <laughs> here, put the thing where it belongs. I'm tired of sitting on it. And I'm not at all sorry for you. Yeah, I'm sorry, Fred. I just didn't understand. It's all right, Pete. He's going to have bigger and better troubles from now on. Uh, yeah, that's just what I want to talk to you about, Gene. 